Good afternoon and a very warm welcome to the annual candle service, which this year comes from the chapel in the Children's Hospital in Aberdeen. Sadly, with all the restrictions this year, we are unable to gather in person, but we hope that you find this service meaningful. My name is Katrina Blackwood. I am a healthcare chaplain in the Children's Hospital and I'm joined by Leslie Lumsden from the Children's Hospital and June Aitken from the Neonatal Unit. This afternoon is a time for remembering our babies and children who have died. For some of you, this may be recent and for others, many years ago. We are here as parents, as brothers and sisters and grandparents other family members, friends and healthcare staff. You are welcome here to take time out from the daily busyness, to take time away from the lights and glitter, to take time to remember our past losses, to take time to acknowledge our present sorrow, to take time to express hope in a future joy. We come just as we are, with our own stories and emotions, our own concerns. You are all welcome here, just as you are. This service comes from the Christian tradition. Whether we come from the Christian faith or other faiths or no faith, the important thing to know is that all are welcome. The light shines in the darkness, in the darkness when masks slip and grief is allowed to surface, when the chill of loss burrows its way into our fragile and vulnerable souls, exposed and bereft. Light whispers, love lasts forever. In the darkness when memories taunt instead of comfort, when regrets triumph over achievements, light whispers, love lasts forever. In the darkness when confidence wanes and hope takes flight, light whispers, love lasts forever. The light of love will carry us through the darkness so let us take a moment to prepare ourselves, whether sitting on our own or with other members of our family. You can pause the service at any point and come back when you are ready to continue. You may wish to have a candle ready to light with matches or a lighter as together we remember. As we prepare ourselves, let us listen to the carol Away in a manger. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky look down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing. The Ah. Uh. 
Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask you to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in your tender care and fit us for heaven to live with you there. When we wrote to you to tell you of this service, we included a star for you to send back to us and we are placing these onto our prayer and meditation tree. We have many stars on our tree already. Please continue to send your stars back to us with your child's name and a small message or prayer if you wish. And we will continue to place them on our tree which remains all year in our chapel here in the Children's Hospital. If you have not received a star and would like to do so, we will give you the details at the end of the service of how to get in touch with us. Stars, which draw us to lift our eyes to the night sky to see them shining, have inspired many poems and stories. Our first poem this afternoon is Twinkle, Twinkle, which help us to reflect on the pain we feel when our child or baby dies. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, so swiftly here and gone, you left behind such heartache when your time on earth was done. For you were very precious, but your stay was all too brief, and Christmas time without you will be tinged with pain and grief. And yet it's comforting to know that we will always be connected by a bond of love for all eternity. You see, the love you left behind forever will shine on and the brightest star this Christmas will be yours, dear little one. We're now going to have a short time of prayer or you may wish to have your own thoughts of reflection. Let us pray. Loving God, we come today as your friends, seeking companionship during the long nights, admitting we are uncertain and have questions, ready to rest a while in your presence as we bring to you our different emotions. In this time, we can take off the mask that says we must behave a certain way, that we must not admit our sorrow, for we know, Lord, that you share in this sorrow with us. May we come in this time and space to release our emotions as we remember and light candles, acknowledging both our own grief and the grief of others and receive the hope you offer. Be ever present with us, Lord Jesus, our friend and our companion through life and death, through sorrow and joy, through ups and downs, through tears and laughter, through love and loss. Help us all to keep light in the darkness, keep love strong, and enable us to care and help one another. Amen. We're now going to have a short reading from the Christian Bible, from Matthew chapter 2. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem village, Judah territory, this was during Herod's kingship, a band of scholars arrived in Jerusalem from the east. They asked around, where can we find and pay homage to the newborn king of the Jews? We observed a star in the eastern sky that signaled his birth. We are on pilgrimage to worship him. Then the star appeared again, the same star they had seen in the eastern skies. It led them on until it hovered over the place of the child. They could hardly contain themselves. They were in the right place. 
they had arrived at the right time. They entered the house and saw the child in the arms of Mary, his mother. Overcome, they kneeled and worshipped him. Then they opened their luggage and presented gifts. Gold, frankincense, myrrh. I don't know if you're like me, but my eyes are often drawn to the night sky to see the stars. Stars, these great balls of light and gas, have been used for millennia to help explorers navigate the seas and guide our modern day scientists to navigate the universe. There are billions of stars that take many light years for their light to reach our skies. Their luminosity can be captivating in a clear night sky as we gaze up and see them twinkling. The night sky looks different depending where we view it from, whether we are north or south of the equator, whether we are in the countryside or in the city, whether there are clouds or the sky is crystal clear. Many of us can spot certain stars or constellations, such as the Plough or the North Star or Orion's Belt. Some we can see with our naked eye and others we need a telescope to help us see more clearly. But even with these differences, there is a permanence to the features of our night sky. The permanence of the night sky, we could say, sits in contrast to the changeable nature of our own lives. From the ongoing roller coaster of a global pandemic to all the usual ups and downs of life. And all of us watching today have been touched by the devastation of a child or baby dying and the impact that it has on us and our loved ones. Before GPS and radar, sailors were able to navigate the seas from the permanence of the night sky and all its patterns. And in this season of Christmas, a story often told and heard from the Christian Bible is of how the scholars or wise men navigated by following a star. Without stars to guide the sailor at the sea or the wise men, they would have been lost on their journey. What is guiding us at this time as we journey with our grief? Maybe it is family or friends an inner resilience, or for some, a faith. Can the luminosity of the stars and their permanence in the night sky speak to us today? I wonder if they might be seen as a symbol of hope. No matter if we are in a city where there is light pollution, or if there is a heavy blanket of clouds, whether we choose to look up at the night sky or keep our faces turned towards the ground, the stars are still up there shining and not on their own, but in community with billions of other stars. Grief is a journey and so often it feels like the night sky when it is in complete darkness with no light guiding us no light showing us the way to go. Starlight has traveled far to reach us and in its piercing brightness, I wonder if there may be something comforting in this image as it cuts through the darkness. In the pain of loss, as we grieve our children and babies, may we remember that there is something of our connectedness with them that is permanent, just like the stars in the night sky. And recognise too that the twinkling light of love that we share with them can pierce the darkest of nights 
and the darkest of moments of our grief. Their light will shine within us forever. May your children and babies continue to be your bright shining stars for as long as you live and for as long as there are stars shining in the night sky. Amen. On dark nights, when the sky is clear, looking up, it's easy to see the planets and the stars, how small they appear, candle flames in the dark night sky, like snowdrops breaking through the hard black earth, yet their light travels for so long, so long, to reach our eyes and touch our hearts with wonder. Hope towards the end of winter, light in the midst of darkness. So we light a candle to remind us of the light of the presence of God, a presence that can bring hope into the darkness of grief, a light that acknowledges a love for the children that neither time nor distance can erode. This candle has been lit to acknowledge love and affirms the gift of love each child brought to us. This candle has been lit to acknowledge grief and the anguish and pain felt because a baby or child has died. This candle has been lit to acknowledge remembering the memories of living, of time together, of laughter and tears. This year, we will be lighting a candle before and after each group of names have been read, with verses from the song fleetingly known sung in between. We will have three groups of names in alphabetical order. I invite you to have a candle ready to light when you hear your child's name being read, or if you chose not to have their name read out this year, I will invite you to light a candle at the end. Say my child's name to me. My child is alive in me. We will meet again, although in many ways we never parted. Say my children's name to me. My child is alive in me. We will meet again, although in many ways we never parted. Say our children's name to me. Say them again. They are our children and we love them as we always did. Say our children's names. A candle for Sophie Adams, Andrew Allen, Luke Bain and Sandy Jane Barclay. Adam Bartlett, Finlay John Alexander Brown, Benjamin Bruce, Sebastian Bruce. Nicholas Situ, Logan Clark, William Davidson and Hamish Leonard Deer. Finlay James Donald, Gemma Donald, Sarah Donald, Samuel Jack Dorrance. Bobby Dylan Douglas, Kirsten Jugid, Declan Alexander Dunlop, 
and Jack Edmund. Laura Jane Forbes, Lucy Meg Forsyth, Harry John Geddes, Zoe Michelle Geddes. Jamie Nico Gildenhoys, Lewis Gill, Amber Billy Glenny, Jackson Brian Gooding. Okay. Andrew Ross Graham, Daniel Graham, Ashley Louise Haggerty. Anna Elise Henry, Campbell Henry, and Savannah Olivia Hill. Fleetingly known, yet ever remembered, these are our children now and always. These whom we see not, we will forget not, morning and evening, all of our days. Aidan Harry Brand Hosey, Maya Marie Hubbing Barrett, James Ross Jappy, Dean Edward Jarvie. Lisa Jenkins, Alistair Matthew King, Declan Knott, Taya Kutukena. Jessica Ann Lawson, Dylan Lewis, Leo Lidgertwood, Elise Ria Lichtendag. Hannah Alice Lofty, Geo Lutton, Lily McCluskey, Anna Marion Mackay. Finlay Mackenzie, Lewis Mackenzie, Megan Clare Mason, Daniel Stephen Masson. Jennifer Masson Hitty, Fraser Monroe Matheson, Chantel Matthew, and Louise Matthews. Robin McCormack, Eve Catherine McDermott, Miles Stewart MacDonald, Liam Darren Bobby McGregor. Oliver McGuire, Daniel McClellan, Freya Evangeline McWilliam, Kayla Murray and Michael John. Autumn Mitchell, Laurie Mitchell, Ashley Moyer. Lives that touched our lives tenderly, briefly, now in the one light, living always. Named in our heart now, safe from all harm now, we will remember all of our days. Kirsty Morrison, Rachel Murray, Carrie Ann Noble, Andrew William Ogilvy. Andrew Patterson, Mackie Patterson, Alexis Michelle Faith Pierce, Ashley Louise Prentice. Abby Robinson, Abigail Ibaboa Sage. Jack William Salter and Naomi Sharp. Emma Short, Ellis Alexander Skinner, Caitlin Susan Smith, Miley Smith. Stephen Spaulding, Kirsty Spires, Macy Wilhelmina Sturton O'Henley, Rory Charles Stoddart. Sarah Karolina Strava Krukikvich, Baby Strelica, Kitia Mozeko Strelica, Nikki Taylor. Ellie Margaret Grace Tench, Molly Christina Trail, Jack Walker, 
Molly Jane Watson, Rhys JJ Webster, Scott Fraser Wells, Braden Monroe Williams, Caleb Williams, Martin Peter Wilson, Eva Humans. As we recall them, silently name them, open our hearts, Lord, now and always. Grant to us grieving, love for the living, strength for each other all of our days. We light a candle for all the children whose names we have not read out today, who are known to us. Safe in your peace, Lord, hold these our children. Grace, light and laughter, grant them each day. Cherish and hold them till we may know them. When in your glory we find our way. In the rising of the sun and at its going down, we will remember the children and babies. In the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, we will remember them. In the opening of buds and in the rebirth of spring, we will remember them. In the blueness of the skies and in the warmth of the summer, we will remember them. In the rustling of the leaves and the beauty of autumn, we will remember them. In the beginning of the year and when it ends, we will remember them. As long as we live, they too will live, for they are a part of us as we remember them. Our final poem is called Shining Stars Guiding Hope and it reminds us that we will gather again in the future but in the meantime follow the shining stars. We'll gather together again, it's not very far and if you lost the way just follow the shining star. It leads us to a place and together we can cope we will meet friends old and new and give each other guiding hope. We will sit and share our stories. It will guide us to a place and as we share with each other, it gives us peace and grace. It is the last day we'll gather and talk. We will share the names and remember them as we walk. It is the final moments on our shoulders shed some tears. As we say our long goodbyes, we'll meet again next year. We have come together and remembered our children and babies, revisited our grief and shed our tears. If you are finding life very challenging at this time, whether your child or baby died recently or a long time ago, please know there is help available. In the first instance, May I point you to the spiritual care pages on the NHS Grampian website, where you will find contact details for chaplaincy. Please take a moment before moving into the next part of your day. Be kind to yourself and may you go in peace and a final blessing the blessing of tears and laughter be ours, the company of friends and family be ours, the hope of budding trees and sunlight be ours, the wonder of the twinkling stars be ours, the promise of sunrise and healing be ours, 
ours today and every day. Let us go now into life and into love. Amen. Once in royal David city stood a lowly cattle shed where a mother laid her baby in a manger for his bed. Mary was that mother mild, Jesus Christ, her little child. He came down to earth from heaven, who is God and Lord of all, and his shelter was a stable, and his cradle was a stall. With the poor and meek and lowly lived on earth our Saviour holy. And our eyes at last shall see him through his own redeeming. For that child, so dear and helpless, is our Lord in heaven above. And he leads his children on to the place where he is gone. Not in that poor lowly stable With the oxen standing by We shall see him but in heaven Set at God's right hand on high 